Wang Yihung and Matty Hiroto Anaba are ready to go head to head in this best of three sets of first to three solves. They'll alternate starting solves and sets. Yihung chose to start second. Wow, very smooth. Oh, but a flub timer stop for Matty. It was such a smooth solve. This looks like a great scramble. A lot of big blocks. A fantastic F2L by Yihung and a very quick last layer, a 5.17 and he barely takes it so that messed up timer stop by Matty is the difference. Oh, and another amazing F2L by Yihung, such a quick translush, wow! That was just a perfect solve and a 4.44! Yihung has arrived in Monkey League with clean timer stops and fast solves. Oh, and another fumble for Matty, a 695, and Yihung takes a 2-0 lead. What oh, a very smooth, Ma wow. Matty is so smooth, a 473, wow. Very impressive 473 by Matty. The F2L was so smooth. Wan oh, Yihung is blistering fast. Oh, but oh, oh, a little mistake on the last layer of 536, and Matty takes that one. Yihung was looking great until the last layer, where he had a bit of a fumble, and that cost him. Another beautiful F2L by Yihung. Oh, but a plus two, a plus two on the 477 and leaving the door wide open for Matty. Oh no. Oh, and Matty is very smooth, but a big pause. He doesn't know Yi Young's time and he gets a plus two himself. And even without it, oh, it would have lost. Oh, God. And Yi Young takes the solve. And the set, three to one. A double plus two. That is definitely a situation where knowing the time would have helped. Oh, a bit of hesitation in that F2L for Yihang. Oh, and a plus two again. A plus two again for Yi Hung. He's falling apart. But again, Matty doesn't know what he has to beat. Although it's hard to imagine him not beating a 765. Matty is smooth. And a 554, and he wins the solve and takes a 1 0 lead. What a crazy match! Wow, wow, beautiful, a beautiful F2L by Matty, and a smooth finish. What a solve by Matty. Oh, and Yihang has a very fast start, he's speeding through it, and he wins a 455 beating a 461, and Yihang ties up the set. Whoa. And again, an amazing F2L by Yi Hung. On oh, a plus two! Another plus two! Oh, Maddie is so smooth. An amazing 515, taking a 2 1 lead in the set, leaving no doubt about it. Wow, both competitors are solving great today, but Yi Hung dealing with a bunch of plus twos. Wow, again a four by Maddie. Maddie is locked in today. Oh, yeah. oh but the last layer is too slow for Yi Hung, and Maddie takes the set three to one and ties up the match. An absolutely unreal level being displayed by these competitors. An incredible display of skill.
Everything looks smooth again. A fluid 5.30. And he's disappointed. When you're going against Yihung, I guess a 5.30 is something to be disappointed about. Maybe he feels that this scramble is really good. It does look like a nice scramble. What will Yihung see? Oh. I don't know about that F2L. It was not a great solution. And a 6-16 for Yihung. Matty takes a 1-0 lead. Wow! A 485! Yihung's F2L was brilliant! And the last layer smooth. And Maddie quick as well. It was close to 519. Oh my. This might be the closest match I've ever seen. Oh, and some big blocks on this scramble. This looks like a good one. And Maddie going for yellow. That's where all the blocks were. A bit of a locky finish of 517, but there are a lot of blocks on this scramble, and Maddie is disappointed. Oh, but a huge rotation in the F2L! A huge rotation in a 617, and Maddie takes a 2 1 lead! Oh, that was such a fast F2L! And the. Oh, but he had an M2 in the. Oh my, how is that a 517? Did he plan that? Was that intentional? What happened? That is a bit locky in the F2L, but it's super fast! A 506! And Maddie wins the match! Two sets to one, winning the final set three to one with an insane performance of 518 median beating Yihung. Yes. What? Maddie Hiroto Nava. Wow. Oh my God. What the hell just happened? <laughs> How did you find this insane form today to take down Yihung? Well, when I've been practicing, all I've been thinking about is like in sets of five where I'm just trying to get fours. And if I get bad solves, that's fine, but I just have to minimize it to one or two bad solves and then I win the set. So I've been doing that ever since last match. And yeah, by, by the time I was warming up for this match, I was like theoretically winning all of my sets. So. I came in with a lot of confidence and um, I mean like this isn't my peak though like obviously I had that plus two that was really bad and then like my tire stop on the first solve that was like eating at my brain for like the rest of that set and then I don't know how I don't know how I got together but I was just beating myself up because I, when I was practicing that was happening like I can't stop the timer like literally I can't stop the timer so like that really pissed me off. And then obviously I lost that set, so that wasn't ideal. But then, I don't know. Well, the first solve of the second set was like decent. And then the second solve was a good solve and he beat me. And then I'm like, okay, he beat that. That was my one, one like beatable solve in that set. So now I just have to have to clutch up. And then I did pretty well there. And then, yeah, last set was, I gotta say, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Like. The only solve I lost was a 485 to 519, which is pretty close, so I'm happy with that.